Good afternoon. Today I'm going to be reviewing two products from Carl Friedrich. This Swanfield leather card wallet and also this classic watch strap. So I'll show you the lid to the gift boxes as you can see very aesthetically pleasing. With the items one gets an envelope and I'll show you it contains two cards. A thank you card from Carl Friedrich on the reverse there's a thank you message and it invites you to share images of your products purchased at Carl Friedrich. And with the wallet, which is the Swanfield wallet, one gets this card. And on the reverse it has usage tips from the designer and also care instructions. So nice presentation and also very aesthetically pleasing packaging. So with regards to Carl Friedrich, I'll give you the background to their business. Carl Friedrich was founded in 2012 by two Swedish brothers, Mattis and Nicholas Opperman. And they produce products which are luxury grade, including luggage, briefcases, wallets and watch straps. This is one of my favourites of their products, the Swanfield Leather Card Wallet. And it can hold up to seven credit cards. Now, the price of this wallet is €100, Euro, and one also has the option of paying an additional €20 Euro to personalise it with up to four characters. You can have letters or numerals, as you can see, WR4K. Now this is the plain version of the embossing, but if it's not to your personal taste, you can also have it embossed and inlaid with gilt, silver or red for example. And I think it's a nice touch, for example if you want to gift this to a fellow collector, you can have their initials embossed and I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. So the Swanfield Leather Card Wallet is available in three colour options, cognac, chocolate and brown respectively. This is the cognac version, which is my personal favourite. It's got a very aesthetically pleasing tanned tone to it. So it's made from Vachetta leather. And as you can see on the interior, it has embossed Italian Vachetta leather. The wallet is actually made in Porto in Portugal, but the leather material itself is made in Tuscany in Italy. And on the left hand side you can see it's also embossed in the interior with Carl Friedrich. So seven slots for seven credit cards, very practical. And the quality of the stitching is absolutely flawless as one would expect with a high quality top grade leather wallet. It's just absolutely gorgeous attention to detail, the skill and the craftsmanship that's gone into this wallet. It's just sublime. One detail I really like is the external pockets for the most used credit card because it saves having to open the wallet to remove the credit card. And with contactless payment, for example, I found that you can put your credit card inside this and you don't have to remove it to use a chip and pin machine when paying, for example. You can actually leave the credit card in this exterior pocket and touch it on the contactless payment and it will scan it without having to remove it from the wallet. So that's a nice attention to detail. Now with regards to the leather, it's one of my favorite aspects. It's made from vegetable tanned vachetta leather by Artigiano del Cuoio in Tuscany in Italy. And as you know from my previous reviews, I previously sold WR4K genuine leather watch travel rolls. And they were made from horse saddle leather, which was top grade, it was like Halloween leather. But I can tell you, and as someone who's looked into the different grades of leather, Vichetta leather by Artigiano del Cuoio in Tuscany, Italy, really is some of the best leather in the world. And Carl Friedrich used this for producing their wallets and their luggage, including their briefcases. And I can tell you it's very durable, very soft and supple, and also very aesthetically pleasing. I love the vegetable tanning, uh, which gives it this cognac tone. I think of the three options, cognac, chocolate and black, this cognac version really is absolutely gorgeous to look at. So onto the leather strap, as you can see, this is the black version. Again, the classic watch strap is available in the same three color options, cognac, chocolate or alternatively black. Of those three versions, this black version is one of my personal favorites. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. Again, it's made from Vachetta leather, which is made in Tuscany in Italy. So the wallet is actually made in Porto in Portugal from Vachetta leather, but this classic watch strap is actually made in Italy. And the leather is of course made in Tuscany in Italy also. Flawless stitching to the top side, Flawless stitching to the underside, and as you can see, 
On the underside, it's embossed with Carl Friedrich. We have two keepers. One's fixed, one slides, as one would expect. Stitched either side to the first keeper, so it can't slide out of position. The skill and craftsmanship of this leather strap is clearly top grade. With regards to the buckle and tang, it's solid 316L grade stainless steel, brass satin finish. No sharp edges, no burrs. Now, personally, I would prefer to see Carl Friedrich upgrade this buckle. I would like to see it signed and engraved with the Carl Friedrich brand logo. That's something they could consider. Now, a minor criticism to the strap is that it uses standard stainless steel spring bars. It's clearly made for standard spring bars rather than quick release spring bars. I would like to see Carl Friedrich upgrade this and introduce quick release spring bars because this is a padded leather strap. As you can see, it's thick at the spring bar end and it gradually tapers down to the buckle and tang end. With these kind of padded leather straps, they're quite stiff and it's quite difficult to get a spring bar tool between the edge of the padded leather strap and the interior of the lugs to the head of the piece so therefore it can be difficult to remove the strap and refit it without damaging the strap or damaging the interior to the lugs. With quick release spring bars one doesn't need a spring bar tool and that would make refitting and removing this strap easier and I really think that at this price point, €100, Euro, it should have quick release spring bars. But having said that it's very aesthetically pleasing, I like the matte finish to it. It is a thick strap, it's very padded, so therefore it's going to require some breaking in to become soft and supple, but however I'm confident with the Vachetta leather, with daily use it's going to become very soft and supple and comfortable to wear for long periods of time. So it's 120mm on one side and 80mm on the buckle and tang side. Therefore, it will fit up to a 7.5 inch wrist with no difficulties whatsoever. However, if you have an 8 inch wrist, you'll find it a fraction too short. But for the majority of collectors with a 6 to 7 inch wrist, this will fit you no difficulty whatsoever because, as you can see, plenty of holes in the strap to allow for fine tuning the length. So, if you look on the underside to the other side, you can see that it has embossed handmade in Italy Tuscan Vachetta leather. So flawless stitching to the underside, perfectly flat and smooth and flawless stitching to the top side and very thickly padded so it is going to take some breaking in. I like the grain finish to the Vachetta leather and it's got a nice sheen to it without being glossy as per dress piece so this strap would be suitable for a daily wear piece. Now as is the case with the wallet, the Swanfield leather card wallet, one can have two characters embossed on their classic leather strap. So as you can see they couldn't fit WR4K so they've embossed it with 4K in red. Now you can have it plain embossed or if that's not to personal taste as per the wallet you can have it inlaid with gilt, silver or red for example and they've inlaid this with a red 4K to demonstrate this. And I think it's a nice touch because for example you could gift this to a fellow collector and have their initials embossed into the end of the strap and it's nice attention to detail and it contrasts very well with the colour of the strap. So again, this is available in cognac, chocolate and black. This is the black version and it's very well made. Beautiful scents to the Vachetta leather and I like the fact it's very soft and supple even though it's padded and it does feel stiff. It's very flexible and I think that once broken in it's going to become very comfortable. So, with regards to the strap, it's available in 18, 19, 20 and 24. So minor criticism to the classic strap is that they don't offer it in a 22mm. 20 and 22 are now the industry standards for watch straps and it's an odd choice. They make it in 20 and they make it in 24 but for some reason they don't make it in 22. And 22 is a popular size so I would urge that Carl Friedrich consider making the classic strap in a 22 because often 42mm heads of pieces are 22mm lug width. But having said that, they're both excellent quality and excellent value products. Yes, the wallet is expensive at €100, Euro, and yes, the classic leather strap is expensive at €100, Euro, but I would describe it as equal quality to a Hirsch leather strap, which is very good, they're made in Austria. And I think it's a case of one gets what one pays for, because if you're looking for a strap that's going to last a lifetime, one has to pay to get good quality, and the main point is it's made from Vachetta leather, which is made in Tuscany in Italy. It is top grade Italian leather. Same with the wallet. 100 euros expensive, but this wallet is clearly going to last a lifetime 
being made from Vachetta leather is absolutely gorgeous and of course the quality of the stitching is just sublime. So I'm going to highly recommend the Swanfield leather card wallet to you and I'm also going to highly recommend their classic leather strap and consider that you can customise it with two characters to make it personal to yourself or a fellow collector. So I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Swanfield leather card wallet and also the classic watch strap. Please feel free to post your own comments below the video. Thank you very much.